What I kind of want to give the impression is you're on the boat, and you know how you're rocking with a boat? Yeah. But it's slowed down to go with the music. Okay? So it's... Blow high, blow low, a whale and we will go. We'll go a whale in the sail in the way. So blow, high you cross in front. Blow, blow, a whale and we will go. We'll go a whale in a sail in a way. Uh, and then you have to shift your weight. Blow high, blow low. Okay, the only line that is just bigger is then at last come the clams, then all the guys come how about, in. How about I'm fine Wednesday, Thursday, I have nothing. Nothing okay. definite. Kids then I'll come to you at the beginning of the day there, Wednesday or Thursday, and tell you which day I'm coming, because okay. I need to go over with you, like, exactly what you're looking for. Okay. Like, with the lights. Um, we, f we are under the impression that after Wednesday of next week, mm -hmm. anything we can build on stage and leave it? Yes. The music department is done next Wednesday. Um, scheduling issues, mainly with the Board of Education. <sighs> Watch me get fired. Because we've been dumped out of the auditorium four nights in the, in the past two weeks. And stay, I've got 60 kids to move around. There's not a lot of space. So I can do that. I can't do it in the black box. But we're going to go look in the black box right now. First come codfish chowder <laughs> cooked in iron kettles. <laughs> Onions floating on the top. My name is Emily Liberis. I'm a senior. And uh, I'm acting in Carousel and playing Nettie Fowler. The mother figure. What I wanted to get from the show was a part basically and I never really expected it because I've been doing it since ninth grade and I've never gotten anything really and I never had too high expectations so I went into it just thinking it's senior year and I hope I get a part and if I don't so be it but uh, my maybe not expectations but my hopes were to get a decent part which I did and I was really excited. Yes! We are finally in the auditorium! Yes! Well, Mr. Snow, here I am! Back in the day, I was missing part of my tibia bone when I was born. Went through a whole bunch of operations, got it fixed. But my whole childhood, I was never able to perform, go through with like sports. I wasn't able to because they were afraid my bone would break again after it was already fixed. So I didn't want to just be like not involved in anything in high school. So decided to go out for drama, and I really like it. I did Enoch Snow, the part which I ended up getting. I did it really well, and I kind of played it goofy. And I've, I've, the plays that I've been in, I was two mean guys. I was a jerk in both the plays. And the independent film I was in, I was like a smooth like player. So this is the first like dorky kind of like goofy kind of role that I ever got. But so I'm like really excited to do that. I was very happy about the part that I got because it was a big part and I'm only a junior and I was only in two shows and I just felt like I achieved a lot by getting this role and I just can't wait to do really well at it. Away the we will go, we'll go a whale in a sail in a way, away we'll go, blow me high and low, 
for many and many a long, long day. For many a many a long, long day. I adjust to the actor. What does this actor need from me? What does this actor need from me? Rather than I'm the director here, you, you have to adjust to me. Um, and you know, Mike I've worked with before, so I, I can kind of know what to expect with him. Marty's interesting because he has a very different learning style from Maggie and Allie, who are very similar. So directing them together is easy. And John, I can't figure out. I don't know if he's in the Allie-Maggie group or if he's more with Marty or if he's more with Mike because they're all sort of different. And so I'm never quite sure if I've gotten through to him. By the time you drink it, I'll have told you. Well? Well, yesterday my head ached and you asked me. We were trying to uh, put together this one scene where Julie announces to me that she's going to have a baby. I have to tell you, I ain't scared or anything. It's, it's perfectly natural. What is? Well, when two people live together... Yes? I'm going to have a baby. He ends up coming up behind me and putting his arms around me from behind and he's always been very uncomfortable with that. I don't know why, maybe it just feels odd. I, I guess it's a little bit embarrassing at first, but anyway, and then I have to turn around and, you know, put my, my hand on his cheek. Um, this had always been one of those points that's really, really serious in the play and I always laugh during the serious parts of the play. <laughs> why? Why did you do that? Every time you get you, was that her? What? I don't know what to do. You know what? Every friggin' time. The scene was over. No, your scene continues. Don't it doesn't stop. Okay. The, the curtain was closed. There's no curtain here, John. I'm gonna be a father. So you're left, you're left hanging, but the scene doesn't end. Okay, so Mr. Fratt got really mad one night and he took Allie aside and said something to her. So Mr. Fratt pulled me aside and he said, look, if he laughs one more time, I want you to take his face in your hands and I want you to smooch him big time. Okay, okay just do it. Okay. Grab his face. Okay. And grab his face? If he was laughing, grab his face. Oh my face. God, I can't do that. Do it now. No. <laughs> So what do you know, we did this scene over, and I came up from behind me, put his arms around me. So I was trying really hard not to laugh, but I laughed, of course. And uh, I just whipped around and took him in my hands and gave him a big kiss. She kisses me, out of the blue. And uh, his face was kind of like, <laughs> he didn't know what to say, but he didn't laugh, so it worked. Uh, I, I didn't expect it. I didn't expect yeah. it. What about it? <laughs>